hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see how you can get an autocomplete text fill in flutter so before that what you can do is simply go to pub.dev and install this package called flutter type ahead copy these dependencies and now go to pubspec.yaml and simply paste it here or run command pub get so once installed what you can do is for that autocomplete will need a list of states so what you can do is i you can see i have a list of states here you can have any list that you want to have as an autocomplete that you are using in your app so as you can see we'll be getting the list and we'll be getting the value using this services so now as you can see here for our app i have this app bar and inside the and a body and the center we have a text called search and we have a user selected string so this is currently null so we are you showing the search and inside the app bar as you can see here i have a sized box and as a child we are using our package called type ahead and inside this package we have different functions for example no item found builder which will be used to show if we are searching any item and if you don't find any item we'll show this as a ui and now for the suggestions what you can do is we have a function called suggestions call back inside where we are returning our state list and we'll be getting our suggestions from it so as you can see here when i'll be pressing our search bar it is showing our list inside our app so as you can see here we have the list of states so now for this ui what you can do is we have a function called item builder and inside this we can build our view that you want to show here for example here we have a row and inside the row we are showing the icon and the text that is our suggestions from the list so you can use this item builder to customize your view and what you can do is we have on suggestion selected and we'll be using this function and using our set state function so that when the user presses on the suggestion or any list it will be set state inside our string which is user selected and for the other decoration parts we have the different functions or parameters which are the suggestion box decoration so as you can see currently we have the color white and a little bit of elevation to it so as you can see if you want we can simply change the color i can simply change the color to a green background and as you can see we'll again tap on our search and now as you can see we have a different background color for our decoration box so for now we'll keep it to a white background okay so as you can see here we have a white background and if you want to change the text you can also use this field called text fill configuration where you can simply use this to show the hint here or any icon as you are using inside your text form fields so now what we can do is we can simply go ahead and try i can simply type anything let's type a a sum and as you can see we have a suggestion related to assam okay so as you can see when i have been clear it is showing me more results related to our suggestion let's show any suggestions that is not inside our list so now what this does is use this no item found builder and it will show the text called no item found that we have used here so as you can see you can use this package easily to use to auto show the autocomplete inside your app so let's get a state and let's say we want to have a himachal for this 
and now once the user is selecting the state now as you can see here we have the Himachal Pradesh as a result that we have used inside our on suggestion selected function so this is how you can use this package called type ahead text field do let me know how you found this video helpful the code will be in the description below do check it out and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video